What's up guys? Do I look chingon as fuck? Or am I looking kind of dumb? Kind of stupid? You stupid! Anyways guys, thank you for clicking the video. Let's get this in stock going. So, we are installing, as you can tell by the title, a Brembo brake kit on the SI. This is like one of the final pieces that I need to complete the look of the car that I want. And of course, you already knew what color they are, but let's go through all the parts I'm installing to make this happen. So shout out to Slick Fab uh, Performance, Slick, Slick Fab Production. I forgot their exact name, guys. Slick Fab Performance, Slick Fab. Shout out to them for, for helping me get this kit. It took a while. I ordered it way back in February and it took a long time. I barely got it. Literally at the end of May, went to two car shows and I missed um, the opportunity to have them on for the car show. I wanted them on. They never got shipped out. He told me they would, but it's like, uh, it's okay. You know, I got them finally. It all got sorted out. So shout out to him from Slick Fab. I forgot your name, bro. If you ever watch this video, shout out to you for the Slick Fab Brembo brakes. So basically these are the Hyundai Genesis Coupe brakes. So look right here, I'll show you them right now. But so we're gonna install new brake lines. Performance from Goodrich. Goodrich brake lines right here. I bought these separately. We need these because you're gonna go from one piston to four pistons. So you might as well upgrade. And my friends are telling me that you need to swap these out every now and then. That's mainly for track. If you're very track oriented, oriented, however you say that word. If you go to the track a lot, I recommend you, um, of course, you swap them out. So I put a lot of things, you know, brake pads, brake lines, uh, liquids, and all that shit. So then also, we have these. I bought these two way back when I ordered the kit to be prepared. I bought this. So this extended lug nuts because extended um, lug nut studs because we're going to need to run spacers because I did research and asked like two people that have the big, the slick fab kit with the Brembo's, Hyundai Genesis Brembo's with these, the 55, the 57 CRs, the gram lights. And they told me put a five mil five mil so i have a five mil for my previous car that's why it looks a little worn down but that's what we have and then we also have here's the other one for the other side we also have a uh, new rotor so these are the rotors that came that came with the kit when i bought it and they are our own concept they're pretty freaking heavy dog pretty freaking heavy these are right here these are the nissan uh rogue third row c or i'm not sure i believe that's the correct thing and these are the ones that fit. They fit exactly. You just have to bend the, the heat shield a bit. So there's that. Got that. The rotors, the spacers. Here, look. I already have Ormon Concepts um, rotors, but these are for the SI. Those are for, like I said, that the Rogue ones, and they're gonna be different. And then we have brake fluid. Amsoil. I ordered three. I already have one in storage. And then here we go. The main product, guys. That everybody wants to watch. Everybody wants to see. So we got Brembo's. Hell yeah. So let me lay him down right here. Look. Hell yeah. Look at that thing. Wow. Damn, bro. Ching. One ass fuck. Shout out to Slick Fat. Like I said, they made sure to put this. I wanted this. I wanted it to be like this. Hell yeah. So now the issue is which one's left, which one's right. I believe. I believe. Uh, Nah, it should go a certain way. Huh. I'll have to figure that out. I believe this part, the little thing goes, the little valvula right here, the little valve, drain valve, I believe it goes up. It goes above. So, and I believe it's a super easy look to drain it. Yeah, that's so simple right there. It's just right there. Way easier. Cause on the, on the OEM ones, it's like in the back. This makes it way easier. So this goes pointing up, I believe, unless you, unless you want it down. In the pictures, in the pictures, in all the pictures I've seen, it goes up. So we're gonna make sure it goes up because look like this side is gonna be the passenger side. It's gonna be like this. Hell yeah. It's gonna say Brembo like that. Hell yeah. And then this side is the driver's side. It's gonna go like that. Beast, beast mode for sure. Hell yeah, guys. So it comes with everything, like even some brake pads. I believe these are the, damn, I forgot what brake pads I got exactly. Uh, these are like some generic street ones. I believe these are, these are Brembo pads. I'm not sure they're red inside. Is they're red inside? But uh, yeah, it comes with a little retainer clip in there. It comes with the bolts. Bolts right here that we need. So basically it bolts right up to this, to the car. Like I said, you need to 
mess with that um that dust shield heat shield whatever it's called in the back and then yeah and then the brake lines will go right here hell yeah guys it's gonna be six easy install i believe super easy and then you just gotta um bleed the brakes should be pretty straightforward i've already done it once a brake flush because the car told me it needed one i'm like okay i'll do that oh the popping bubbles i was like what the hell something i'm not sure what it is guys is this this ring right here not sure exactly what it is not sure exactly what this ring is for but i will figure it out because it came with both of the calipers so i will figure out what this is for when i'm installing it i'm, I'm looking at it i'm like huh does it go right here like when i first opened it i was like does it go right here it looks like it fits right there you know like right there so maybe that's where it goes right there look like a little um little wheel thingy because maybe the those rotors it might fit a bit bigger right here and then this fits it perfectly maybe that's what it is i'm not sure but i'll figure it out and you guys will see in the video so let's get it going so first things first guys check out this kit bc racing coilovers hell yeah so gotta take all this off so stick off the caliper take off the pads take off the rotor and we need to knock out these these right here too these we're gonna knock those out too and hell yeah get it going and the first step we're gonna do is after everything's off is install the the extended uh wheels wheel um lug lug nut studs whatever they're called i don't even know they're from arp so hell yeah arp i'm gonna be getting some arp studs for the head of the engine eventually in the future but yeah arp let's get it going all right guys so the tow millimeter is off so on the good ridge it comes with this piece right here so keep that tow mill right here keep it in handy the little tow millimeter bolt because you're gonna reuse it and then we move on to this part over here so i believe there is a retainer clip right here somewhere I'm not sure exactly right here. I me mean, some pinzas. Try to pull that shit out. I'm not sure how exactly it is in there, but I'm gonna see how to get it done. So the new kit, it should come with all that stuff. So let's look at how it is. What comes inside this kit right here? I haven't really looked into it. I haven't really opened it. Hell yeah! So there it is, guys. And the cool thing is that it comes with all four. So look, rear, right, left, left, right. So we don't need that. We need the front ones. Like right here, look, left front, so that's this side, and then right front, right here, the state's right front, so that's the other side. These are the two we're going to be using, so we don't need the other two for now. I might change them eventually, but for now, for now, we're chilling. We don't really need to be changing them right now. We're good, we're good. And then it does come with new one retainer clips right there, as I could tell. Hell yeah, new crush washers, and then the bolt, the banjo bolt that you need to, um, to hook on on the little loop thing right here. So we don't need the rear ones, let's put those back. All right guys, so now that I know what lines I'm gonna need and the retaining clips and all that, so to prevent like any more like leakage or anything onto the new Brembo's, um, I'm gonna just let that uh, leak right there for a bit, just let it leak and then do that part last. This is the last piece right here. Gonna need to pull out this retaining clip. I'll pull it out right now, show you guys how to do it. And then now we can just move on to this part right here. So basically link that right here a bit. And then let's remove this piece. Hell yeah, goodbye to the, oh shit, that's leaking a bit. So good thing I have trapos, you know, good thing I have trapos. Good thing I have trapos, guys. All right. It's a good thing I, always good thing I have some trapos. Always have trapos right here in handy just because some chingaderas and manchas dripping everywhere. You don't want um, brake fluid everywhere, guys. Uh, get brake cleaner. Brake cleaner will help. Make sure you have that. Don't get it on your paint, on the pintura. Like right here in the back, you gotta watch out for this part right here. Like, don't let it leak all right here. Being piat. And then, let's get this part off. So this part, I believe the two in the back are 17s. So let's go get 17s and take this piece off. Let's get the brake pads off first, of course. Don't wanna be a dumbo. So this is always a tip, guys. They, these freaking bolts in the back were tough to get off. So get the get the palo, get the handle from the, from the jack. Shove it into the to the uh, wrench, wrench it, and boom, easy like that, easy, easy, easy. Or unless you have a big ass breaker bar, same thing. But hell yeah, easy as fuck, just like that. Hell yeah. Now let's get this old thing off. That's crazy, man. I wanted the 271 kit, but it's out of my budget. I wouldn't really use it to the max potential that it is. Like these are old bolts; they give us new ones. So you could store those away if you want. I'm gonna be storing away the old kit. I believe you could put these brakes on a on a base model. 
I believe, correct me if I'm wrong guys, like can you, can I upgrade my sister's brakes and put my old SI brakes on hers? Correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not sure, but please let me know if I can or cannot. So I could tell my dad, be like, hey, we can. So let's let's upgrade her brakes, you know? Let let her have them as side brakes. That'll be beast to me. It's like right here, got my chato all back here. Just wipe it down, clean it. No, just clean it, make sure it's all clean. Think piano, take some of the dust off everywhere. Pisses me out, there's so much dust all the time. Puro tierra, no mamin. All right, now let's take off this. Oh, it has the little screw right here. Can't forget that. All right, guys, so I was trying to figure out the rotor. So look, old one, new one. Little difference, little tiny difference. This one is a bit, I believe, bigger and it fits for the Brembo's. So I was trying to figure out which one's left, which one's, which one's right. So I just matched the lines. Like, look, they match like that. A lot of people say they should be pointing their forward, but literally R1, like their brake company, and they, they set them up to be like this. And look, this is the left one, L. And that's that one. That's where I got it out from. The first one I showed you guys earlier was the R one. Look, R, R, L. So that's how you know right there. So now let's start with the studs. All right, guys. So now that we're deep into this project, uh, this is the part that I hate because this thing spins freely and to tighten it down, uh, you're gonna need to use the a washer thing whatever and all that shit a little lug a, a lug nut then get a bigger bowl and then tighten it and yeah or you could do it at the end pull them on forward with a rotor which i'm gonna probably have to do but for now let's just let's just knock these out basically a lot of people say this is the wrong method but to me this has worked many times and i've done it with I've done it with my other car, so it's recommended a bigger hammer than this. I just found it. Don't use this little thing. I don't know how I was about to use it because I know we have this. Hell yeah, right here. So use this, makes it way easier. And then let's just get him out, knock them out all at once, and then put them back in one by one. I've done this many times on my older car, the blue one, my old knife gen. So let's get it done, guys. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So other side um i will show you guys the finished product when i'm done so i finished the other side but i'm gonna show you guys that yeah because i had help from my dad so this side uh this fiero right here this this thing dust shield to get these out for the extended this is an extra step that i'm doing for the extended lug nuts but for the actual caliper to fit you got to cut it right here so cut it right here straight down that line then out here too cut it right here all this line already while the rotor is off already do it while the rotor is off because you don't want to put the rotor on tighten it down and then put the copper like all oh, doesn't fit all you need to get off again just an extra step you know so just cut it already cut it already and then for me sending lug nuts i have to cut this the stupid aluminum right here metal I have to cut it because it gets caught when i'm taking these out and i'm taking other ones out on the forums it says take out the whole thing i don't want to do that that's a whole extra step you might need to change the bearings hell nah so i'll just do it like this that's how we do it on the other side I can show you, I'll show you guys at the end how it looks. It's a beast, man, it looks beast. I got everything lined up already to get it, uh, to bleed the brakes already on the other side. The other side is beast, this side, let's get it done now. So like I said, make sure to cut it right here. Already, while the rotor is off, before you put on the new one, cut it right here and cut it right here, bam. And then if you're doing the extended lug nuts too, to use the spacers, um, because you might, you're gonna need a spacer, maybe depending on your wheels, I need it for those. Like I said, um, cut it right here too right here to cut the fiero the aluminum the color here look i already started it just cut it more all the way down just to get all this space right here through here they're gonna enter a little crooked but they get lined up at the end and then you line them up when you torque it down right here you use an impact gun or a yeah use an impact gun or an air gun and it'll line it up straight all of them and then it lines up for the rotor for the rotor to go in perfectly smooth without like damaging the threads or anything the other side the threads are scared because they're kind of touching a bit pushing them in but we did it slowly and they came out pretty good. The threads all tighten up perfectly on every single lug nut. So we're good guys. Hell yeah, let's let's get this going. So like I said, cut it, cut it, cut it. And then I'll show you guys the final result and how to bleed it, hell yeah. So just be careful guys, when you cut it, it's gonna be very sharp. So like file it down or whatever, hammer it out the way. And then also you need to push this back a bit just so it won't hit the new um, rotors. And then look right here, like I said, look. Bam, just take off pieces, big chunks right there, two big chunks. 
right here on that line right there on that line and then like i said file it down because you might cut yourself so just be careful be cautious with that all right so then now i gotta do my extra step of cutting right here and getting these out and putting the extended ones in hell yeah all right guys so so guys for if you're doing the extended lug nuts too uh just be cautious that you know that it might get scratched right here but it's because look at that um it's just so dumb man i was reading on the forums like i said and honda i don't know why they did this man but it's so stupid look here's the hole right here's one of the holes here's this thing okay now look doesn't go in it has, you need to like wiggle it in a bit you're gonna have to wiggle it in it's easiest if you have it like kind of like right here like in the center right here and you gotta like wiggle it in use a hammer use a hammer i know people are gonna say oh you're doing this shit wrong like what the fuck are you doing why are you hammering that shit here's up the wheel bearings oh bro it's okay it's okay i'm not doing a super super tough super, super hard um but this is the only way i found that make it work because if not i need to press to get this shit out and i don't fucking have this you know i don't want to be doing be dealing with that right now i just want to get the brake kit on already because like i said i ordered it since february and i know people are gonna say that, oh do it right the first time you don't know shit and i'm like bro it's like people always find different methods to install things and this is the correct way my dad even told me he's like it's all right but like the correct way correct correct way saying off this whole thing it's like damn man that's a lot of work but if you go look on youtube how to change out your wheel studs a lot of people do it this method they might they maybe use a press they may use an air hammer to help them out a bit but i don't have that just using this a hammer force you know use a little muscle man don't be a little b easy man easy so let me just do all these now look like it's going in trickle but it's gonna line up at the end and then you just fix them at the end like i said and all right guys so back here it's a little 10 mil right here just be careful because this thing was a little bit tight right now and i almost stripped this so just be careful just be careful make sure you have a good um good grip on it and then i just yanked it and boom it broke loose so hell yeah this is the final piece right here for the new um for the new brake line right here i got the good rich one like i showed you guys and then i might end up changing the real ones too later we'll see but look at this hey oh yeah bro sick sick hell yeah so i'll show you guys how to bleed i'm not sure how to bleed one right here one right here but i will i will um i will figure it out and i will show you guys in this video right now i'm just trying to get this part the final thing and then it will be ready for bleeding the brakes hell yeah but these are some badass calipers dog look at that holy shoot it's the extended lug nuts was a good choice because look at that look at that straight on views like damn bro like god damn that's that's crazy bro that's crazy straight on view right there look at that you can barely see him like holy shoot i'm kind of scared how the rims are gonna fit now i'm gonna do a test fit all right guys so now that everything is on the brembo's on brake lens on right here got this part cut like i said so now if you guys haven't seen my video on how to uh replace your brake fluid do a almost completely flush thing I've done it before, so it's pretty simple. Just open this part right here. And you're gonna see since I let a whole bunch of brake fluid drain out, it'll be kind of empty. So just leave it like that. And then this filter right here, uh, let's take it out. For now, we don't really need that. And then look, it's pretty empty. So refill it with your brake fluid all the way to the top, all the way to the top. And then just cap it up a bit. Just close it back up. And then we're doing the pressure and then uh, bleed the system. Make all, make the brembles get pumped make them stiff as it should be and then do it all around so in the manual it starts from here there over there and then right here and it's just a full circle again and again and again because i know some people like starting from the farthest end and then over there over here over here and it's like i'm just following what it says in the book and i've done it like i said before in my video link up here you'll see it pop up so let's get it done and i'll show you guys how it feels with the wheels on and everything once everything is bled, everything is done. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So you see all these little bubbles right here. So start on the outside one, go on the inside one, ready on passenger side. Uh, look, but literally loosen up the thing and then boom, all these little air bubbles. You need to keep it, keep it, um, keep on doing it until there's no more air bubbles shooting out. So the first time, that canine is going to be a good amount. And my sister needs to keep on holding the brake pedal down because if she lets go of it, all the air is just going to go right back in and it's like what was the point so now that that's going like that i lock it back down i lock it back down 
kind of difficult to see this one because it's in the back. Just be careful. Don't strip these things or else you mess up everything. And then just like that, guys, and then just do it. And then go to the rears too. I did the rears because I replaced one of these little things. I kind of messed up the threads a long time ago when I was doing that video that, should, um, that I linked right there. So I have that, um, I fixed and I replaced it. So we need to do that too. And I was gonna do the rear brake lines, but it looks like a little more challenging because there's more stuff in the way. So eh, I'll do that later, you know, it's all right, it's all right. All right, guys, so look, this is what I'm talking about. Look, just just the uh, air bubble here, but that's from it, like trying to come back from on this side. But then look at that, all clear, all clear. Just that one thing. So what I do now is I just close it, just close it. Close it like that. Don't over tighten these because then that's how freaking strip them so you freaking turn them into like a circle so just be careful with that don't over tighten them but yeah it should look like that hell yeah almost done basically almost done hell yeah all right guys so install was a success drove the car it feels amazing look at that there it is that's how they look now hell yeah rambos and look at the fitment it's super super close so look at that right here it doesn't look that close but when the when this part is close to right there Bro, it is super, super close. Very close to hitting it. Kenyan caliper, like right there, look. Look at that part right there. Damn, look at that little space right there. God damn, bro. Damn, con cuidado, fool. Con cuidado, vato. Look at that. Damn, bro, now it matches with the red lug nuts. Raise, raise, hell yeah. The little red ascents that I have everywhere, like right here, the H. Hell yeah, then the interior. Red is my favorite color but the car is in red. So what I did is add red, red accents here and there. So now all I need is to match the rear ones and paint them. And after they get painted, that's when I'll probably do the, the brake lines as well because I didn't do them because I felt like, eh, I didn't want to waste more time. I just wanted to get it done, use these and bro. And guys, they feel amazing. With the braking power now, I was stepping on it. Like you need to like um, burn them in a bit. So that's what I did. Me and my sister, I drove around and boom, hitting him hard, hitting him hard, hitting him hard. And then I just drove regularly, then was testing him good. And bro, this thing stops so perfectly now. Way better, four piston, like just imagine that. One piston to a four piston brake system. That is amazing, great. Shout out to Slick Fat Performance for the kit. Although it took a while to get to me, I'm glad it finally did, hell yeah. Amazing product right there. They powder coated themselves, put the Brembo thing on there. Hell yeah, it's like they rebuild the, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe Brembos and then they fit directly onto our cars with different rotors. The Nissan Rogue, three Rogue, Pass I don't know what car it is, but that's what they are. They know how to do it in their kit. You could build your own kit for cheaper, but I got this kit for around a thousand and then add the brake lines and the, and the ARP studs. That's like another, like almost 300, it's like a thousand, 200 something, 1,300. So yeah, that's about the total that I paid for that. And I am honestly glad I did because now I'm happy with the side profile of the car because now there's a big red caliper right there and hell yeah. And then with the five spoke rims, way better man. With the 57 CRs, you see those Brembos and it's like hell yeah, he got that. The Billy Bob, Billy, Billy Bob brakes that stupid reel where they're being dumb. The girl and the mom. You got that Billy Jean brakes. Like, what the fuck is that, guys? But, anyways, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully, this install guide helps you guys out there or just, um, just bleeding the brakes. You know, go watch my bleeding brake video, uh, changing your lines and all that. So, hell yeah, man. Beast. And I already burned them in and they feel amazing. They feel amazing. The stopping power has been upgraded. So now I'm li I literally have upgraded everything on the car, man. Suspension, braking power, um, horsepower, tune, aero, lighting, body, hell yeah. What's missing on the car, guys? Honestly, nothing. Oh, a clutch. But honestly, when I put the new um the new brake fluid, the clutch feels a little better now too. Like the clutch pedal, the clutch pedal feel feels more responsive. So, well, that's 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 a thumbs up right there too because whole new brand new um Amsoil brake fluid. So hell yeah, guys, hell yeah, that's beast, man. But again, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Peace out. Stay tuned for the next one. Hell yeah. 
Man, you can check the whip and peel. Damn, this ticket is ill. Gear shift from the smooth as butter. Cut in and out of lanes undercover. Style, wow, my mirror, the rear view. You can never fly by, homie, I will see you. Mark 5, change the reins if need be. Thou shall never floor pass. I would let the ID before you act on.